Welcome back everybody! This is Becky and today I'm going to show you how I get ready for an Oktoberfest. This year everything is going to be different than usual because it's the pandemic so the actual Oktoberfest in Munich is not happening sadly but my family and I are not going to let them take the Oktoberfest from us so we're going to go to a restaurant today that has some kind of small Oktoberfest they're gonna play Bavarian music, serve typically traditional German meals and obviously beer and everybody's gonna wear traditional clothing there which means Lederhosen and Dirndl. So if you want to see how to get ready for the German Oktoberfest then keep on watching. What I always do before I get ready is I somehow put back my hair so it doesn't get in any of my cream or makeup. For prepping my face I keep it very simple. I just roll over my face like this. I just get it out of the fridge so it's really cool and it soothes the skin and pulls all the sleep out of my skin. Since it's fall and the air is getting colder, my lips get dry really easy. So I'm gonna use the Velour Lip Scrub from Jeffree Star and I'm just gonna prep my lips with that real quick so they're soft and ready to go. The funnest part about this is that it's edible and it tastes super good. Now for primer, I'm gonna use the Professional Matte Rescue all over my face. While the primer dries, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I use the Maybelline New York Tattoo Brow in the color Pomade, topped off with the Urban Decay Brow Blade Pencil. Now in the front part of the eyebrow, I draw in every single hair. After I carve out each eyebrow with my concealer, now I'm going to cover my eyelids in concealer as well. Now I'm moving on to the eyebrow highlight. For that, I'm dipping into the Mini Orgy palette. I'm gonna use Champagne Drip, this bright gold up here, and pop that right underneath both eyebrows. Now when it comes to the eyeshadow, we want to keep it as soft, subtle and natural as possible, since it's a traditional festival. So I'm gonna dip into the Neutral Orgy palette. I'm gonna go into Bed or Floor first and drag that all across the lid to the outer corner of my eyebrow. Now moving on to the color top. Now dipping into safe sex. And then I darken up the crease a little bit with money shot. See, very subtle. And now I'm gonna put some glitter on my lids. I'm gonna use foam party and glass wet in the inner corner. Now on my bottom lash line, I'm just gonna put money shot, blend it out with safe sex. Now I'm blending out the glitter with a little bit of money shot as well. That's as simple as we're keeping it for eyeshadow. And now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on some eyeliner. Because of my hooded eyes, I personally think that no matter how subtle it look, nothing's gonna keep me from putting my signature cat eye because otherwise my eyes always look so droopy and I don't like that. Now I quickly threw on some lashes and now we're gonna go with foundation. Subtle contour, blush, and highlight. Now 
Now we're gonna put some natural lipstick and then we seal the deal with setting spray. And that's that for makeup. Now let's move on to the hair. Now the hair is very essential when it comes to Oktoberfest and German tradition. You typically always need any kind of braid to complete the look. Now the problem for me is I've always had friends do my hair because I'm just really really bad at hair. I usually like my hair open so I never really experiment with different hairstyles. So I'm gonna try to follow a YouTube tutorial on this. I have tried special kinds of braiding several times but I always failed but Oh well, today I guess is another day to try, right? Since this year is a little bit different than all the other years and we have a pandemic going on, I'm just gonna go with my family opposed to with my friends. So I'll have to try myself. First we're gonna go ahead and try to split the hair because I'm going for two French braids. Oh my gosh, I'm already failing at the split. <laughs> oh, okay, one second. I'm trying. I promise. I don't know what the fluff I need to do. I guess I'm the only female that doesn't know how to do this. Okay, now let's watch the YouTube video. So he said he's try he's starting off with a triangle section. Is this a triangle section? Yeah, it looks like it. My arm already hurts and I haven't quite started. I'll separate those into three. Okay, I'm already struggling.
right, this is as good as I can get. I'm gonna try the exact same thing on the other side now. I know it's not gonna look perfect, but that's the best I can do. And I'm really proud because I've actually never been able to finish it at all. All right, y'all, this is it. This is my Oktoberfest dandel look. I know my hair is messy and all, but at least I have braids. That's the most important part for actually being a dandel, being at a German traditional festival. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day and week, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.